Van Gogh's bedroom, a painting so enticing, you feel you could step right into it. And now you can, for this is a life-size replica of his iconic work, available for the public to stay in. The room in Chicago's River North neighborhood is listed on Airbnb, as if the artist himself were renting it. Dear David, welcome to my bedroom. Please make yourself at home. Guests even receive a letter, supposedly from Van Gogh, welcoming them. It's all part of the Institute's aim to separate the painter from his artwork and display him as a human being. It's something I'm going to remember for a long time. Uh, I've never seen a place like that before. It looks like a cartoon in real life as well as online. Uh, lots of paint. Kind of smells like paint too, but uh, pleasant nonetheless. And you just uh, have a great appreciation for the work that went into it and the uh, uh, people that uh, took the time to reproduce a, a classic painting. The Art Institute of Chicago have kept the details and imperfections of the room as close to the painting as possible. Renters also get tickets to the Art Institute's Van Gogh's Bedrooms exhibition, which runs through to May the 10th. Curator Gloria Grimm says staying in the room and seeing the paintings could be a powerful combination. We really wanted to bring the bedroom alive and we wanted to bring the man alive. We wanted to show that he was someone who lived in a real place in Arles at a specific time. He's an artist whose passion goes into his paintings and people under, they feel that passion. And the idea of staying in his bedroom where he slept, where he painted, is very, very moving and I think for a lot of people they want to experience that. The exhibition brings together the three versions of Van Gogh's bedrooms for the first time in North America. From 1888 to 1889, Van Gogh painted three different versions of the room in his yellow house in Arles. I think most people don't realize that there are three versions of the bedroom, of which ours is the second one painted a year after the first one, not in Arles, where he lived and where the bedroom was, but rather in the hospital, in the asylum where he was institutionalized. The bedroom might be like stepping into a painting, but the rest of the apartment is modern and practical. Sunflowers on the coffee table are not another of Van Gogh's famous works. A museum spokeswoman said February dates for the apartments booked up within minutes of the promotion being announced. More rental openings are set to be announced on the Art Institute's social media channels. Liu Wenwen, CCTV.